Is that a weave? Oh, wow. Whoa! What did you do to your hair? Oh my gosh, I can't believe you cut your hair. Can I touch it? Can I touch it? Can I touch it? Can I touch it? Please, can I touch your hair? Hey guys, this is awesome. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, hopefully you can see my hair and understand the entire point in this video. I waited to do this video. I've been planning this video for a hot minute now. Oh shoot, I need to grab my note. Hey guys, so I gathered I gathered some clips from school because I had a feeling um basically when school started I had went from Bob like a Bob of uh, hopefully this picture a Bob and like box braids and then I didn't want to leave my hair out so I went straight to back to twist and I didn't give my hair a breather like my edges was just like crying for some peace so my hair's out for a week <laughs> I think I can last a week, I don't know. I had put my hair out there and I was natural and I came literally with a headband and my hair was just like this. You know, people who've seen me last year, they knew how my hair looked or if they were new, it's no big deal. Like a lot of girls walk around with their hair in afros. But like these freshmen who know me, they never see my hair like this, only if they're like family friends. I've seen my hair like this before and you know, Keep, you know the typical thing the struggle about natural hair is like what people are going to say to you or like the dumb stuff that they say to you i think it's dumb but mm, here's some clips is that a weave oh my gosh i can't believe you cut your hair can i touch it can i touch it can i touch it please can i touch your hair i want to touch you your hair, hair. What are you? Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Whoa. What did you do to your hair? Is that a weave you had on before? You get a haircut? Like, I pet you. <laughs> can I touch it? It's cornrows. Okay. As you can tell, like, these are actual people who go to my school. Not all of them are freshmen, but actually who go to my school and people, things are saying to me. And it was funny because every time they say something, I'm like, but oh, oh, oh wait can you repeat that again so i can get that on camera i need to get that on camera so that's one struggle of mine where i'm always getting constant questions like the first time i'm okay with answering the second time i'm gonna get i'm just gonna when i get repetitive questions or when i feel like that's something so stupid of someone to actually say to me i don't like answering people's questions and i get really rude and i know people look like oh you're rude i'm like well what you're saying just doesn't it's i hear this a lot and you sound really dumb so that's one struggle for me like just trying to hold like be calm and actually listen to people and i get it people are interested but like it's just the questions they ask i feel like it just sounds scary the second struggle of mine is constantly touching my hair if i have my hair like this well without a headband or it's just a fro um i always touch my hair I want to make sure my hair is still puffed out. I don't sleep in my classes. I never try to put my head down because I know that my hair is just going to flatten down. Yeah, I don't know that we're going to ever solve those problems because that's the innovation though. Like, it's going to take good people to solve those problems. Like, I don't know that we're going to ever solve those problems because that's the innovation though. Like, so that's always been a struggle for me. If it's a struggle for you and you're just always doing this, always trying to do a touch up, looking at your hair and doing a touch up. <sighs> when random people just come up to you and touch your hair, whatever your style it is, they touch your hair. That is beyond me. I found like that's disrespectful. You don't see me coming up. And like, it's not just like people I know, it's like random people. I random people touch my hair like last year it was like a big thing to just walk up to people and just literally I was walking in the hallway like freshman year and someone had come up to me and just like they were and I was like what the f I almost hate somebody like it's that bad you can't just touch people's hair no matter what color skin you are you can't just touch people's hair like that and creep up on them because 
you don't know how everyone's gonna react me i would have just went boom but no one's been touching my hair so hand grease after when people touch my hair their hands get what greasy when i touch my hair my hand gets greasy this is why i don't get lice no i'm kidding um my hands i don't know about you but you when y'all doing this you get the grease on your hands my hands always only time my hand ever feels soft is when i touch my hair because the oils are on my hair on my hands but the struggle is when you're making a video like me i'll be on the snap and literally my my camera is blurry because what i'm touching everywhere on my phone and all the grease is on my screen There, beautiful. <laughs> it's so bad. People always tell, "Ew, your screen's greasy." I'm like, "Yeah, I was touching my freaking hair. Like, there's nothing I can do about that." But it's so annoying. Like, I know I just gotta quit doing this, but like, ah, I don't know. It's just like I touch everything. It's a struggle. No hair movement whatsoever. If you have forcey hair like me, no hair movement. Wait, is it moving? I don't know. Is it moving? No. Not like I don't want to taste like the beef. What are you doing? I'm trying to see my hair would move. Oh hair movement is a struggle for me. Um, I literally I was taking snaps of myself and I was just going like this. You'll see clips and my hair will never move. Hmm. Shrinkage. Shrinkage. Um, every time I tell people that my, because people, something, don't, something people tell me all the time. Oh my gosh, your hair hasn't grown. I cut my hair back in like seventh grade and I cut it very short. So this is actually pretty long. Um, it's not the longest it's ever been, but it is pretty long. Um, but when people do see my hair and sometimes I won't twist out my hair, I won't stretch it out. I'll just leave it at its, when it's wet. My hair is very short, um, very short. And oh my gosh, your hair is so short, this and that. And as soon as I say shrinkage, then this whole like, as if I'm doing some Q and A panel type of thing and everyone wants to just have, they have questions. What is shrinkage? What is this? What is that? Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh my God. So I get to my, this so white gets in the roots of my hair. My hair is going to shrink. People will come up to me like, your hair was so big this morning. Why is it so small now? What did you do? Boy, if you don't get shrinkage. That's all I say and I walk away. They're like, what the heck shrinkage? Da, 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 da. Shrinkage is the enemy because shrinkage just causes questions and questions get me annoyed. Like, and you know, like my, since the hair type I have, I have to do so many things just to stretch out my hair. And every time I stretch out my hair, my hair always just comes out straight and it just doesn't look the way I want it to look. Like right now, it don't look the way I want it to look. I'm losing hope in myself, in my hair. I can't do it though for. Hairstyles. Hairstyles will be the death of me. Literally struggle. It's so freaking real and my head is so itchy. That's all I have for you guys today. I know there's there's so many things that I do struggle with um, with my hair and if you do have some things that you know that you struggle with, comment down below and I'll make a part two to this video. Stay fresh, shade you, stay beautiful, and love you. Like it, love it, dude, subscribe. Ah, peace out, girl, scout. What we do here is go back, 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 back.